Hello there, my dear. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here, floating above you ever so slightly. I'm happy to inform you that you've caught the attention of a goddess. Isn't that lovely? Oh, my dear, my dear, my dear. Why do you look so frightened? <laughs> now, don't worry. I'll take very good care of you. All I need is one thing. You give up your life to me, and only me. Why do you look so hesitant? Most mortals would jump at the chance to be even close to a goddess. Especially one as powerful as me, might I add. Oh, pitiful humans. They always think about themselves and how they like to be treated. Not all goddesses and gods out there need to be worshipped to exist. Just because you believe in something doesn't mean it exists. And just because you don't believe in something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That's not how existence works. We exist regardless of what you believe. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I understand that this is a shock that I might be pulling some magic trick or something. How can I prove it to you? Do you want me to go back to the beginning, perhaps? Alright, check your clock, see what time it is. I've been here about two minutes. Hello there, human. <laughs> That's right, we went back in time. <laughs> it's my pleasure to control the chronological sequence of things. Honestly, most people won't even know. In fact, this is how immortality works, you understand. We go back to any place in time we want. Now, of course, you can only affect a few small people here and there, and that's the only way it doesn't completely destroy the time frame. But, if you go back and win the lottery, no one would have known who would have won the lottery had you not gone back in time, right? Everyone would think that's exactly how it was designed to be. How on earth do you think people get so successful? Nothing physical changes, but your mind is enlightened. You remember everything, of course, but no one else does. Only the person who is in the presence of said god or goddess. Unfortunately for you, I'm not here to make you rich or famous in this mortal realm. I'm here to make you my partner. Oh, please. All the other gods and goddesses have partners. Usually they pair up with themselves, but if I'm being honest, I like someone a little more humble. Someone who knows their place. Someone who needs me just as much as I need them. If only in different ways. And I will never find that on the spiritual plane, oh no. But I found it here. In you. For a mortal, you are quite attractive to me. It doesn't matter whether you fit in to the norms and standards of the day or not. And I know I have taken the form most pleasing to you. I just hope it isn't someone already in your life. So tell me, do I resemble someone to you? I see. So, you have a mortal girlfriend, and she's everything you could ever want? That seems unlikely. Hmm. Well then, fascinating. The question is, will you choose me over her? If we already look identical, surely it doesn't matter. After all, I'm far more powerful. Surely she can give you everything I could. Immortality, for one, 
I guarantee she doesn't have that. And she can't be everywhere at once. She can't see everything you want to see. All the movies and books. Anything. But I can give you all those things. And companionship while you do it. There's not enough time in this mortal life to do everything. So let me give you the power to do more. I see. Well then, if you love her so much, I guess I have to eliminate her. <laughs> Hello, my dear. How are you today? Oh, there's no need to answer that because... What was that? Oh, I tore her soul from her body. <laughs> yes, I suppose she is dead. How unfortunate. I guess you must come with me. Silly, silly, silly mortal. I will always get what I want from you. You forget. I have power with every snap of my fingers. Anything I want, I can have. Alright then. Since you're already in tears, I'm sure you wouldn't mind if we went back in time and did it again. Now would you? How many times does it take for a silly little mortal to give in to a goddess after she's ripped the soul from said mortal's girlfriend. Surely. She doesn't mean that much to you. <laughs> My snapping hen is getting pretty tired. You'll stay with me? Now that's a good mortal. Come now. There's no need to be shy. Embrace it. And before you think you're going to get any magical powers to bring her back, I'm not stupid. And even if I was, all I'd have to do is snap and bring us back right to this moment. 